Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. The following is an excerpt from a recent webinar covering the integration of Final Cut Pro 10 with Motion 5. It illustrates how to put video in a shape. And this one takes advantage of a lot of what we've learned plus something that's new with Motion 5. This is what we're going to create. Notice that I've got a piece of video with a shape, could be any arbitrary shape, and inside that video I have a drop shadow and a piece of video. It's called Picture in Picture. So let's create that picture in picture effect. I changed my defaults. The normal default is HD 720, which is a really good default. You change defaults, by the way, in the um, preferences menu. There's our effect, Shift Z, so we can see the entire thing. And let's put in a, um, let's just uh, drop this shot in here so we can see what we're working with. It still comes in as a drop zone, so it'll key over properly, but at least it gives us a chance to play. Twirl this up and create a new group. Hit the plus key. We're going to call this a heart. And with the heart selected, let's go to the library. In the library, we'll click a shape and we'll find our pink heart. And now we've got a heart here. So let's just edit that heart right down to there. Keep it there for a second. In order for me to add video to an effect that's created inside Motion, to add the video inside Final Cut, I can add video at any time in Motion, but to add video in Final Cut, I have to add a drop zone. A drop zone is a placeholder. It's a placeholder that contains images or video. To add a drop zone, go to the Object menu and say New Drop Zone. By definition, it's full screen. We're going to scale that back by grabbing a corner. Hold the Shift key down, which constrains its proportions, and we'll just align that with Action Safe. So that's our drop zone, except I want it to be in the shape of the heart, and currently it's in the shape of a rectangle. This is something that is very cool. By the way, notice that the heart is invisible because the stacking order puts the heart below the drop zone. To change the stacking order, just drag it, and now the heart is on top. I'm going to resize the heart so it goes on top of the drop zone. Okay. So far, I have something unbelievably ugly, a pink heart on top of a gray drop zone on top of a background video. This is very cool. When you take a shape and you drop it on top of the drop zone, the shape acts as a mask, and it has now masked the drop zone in the shape of the heart so that now I've got my heart here with the video already masked inside it in the shape of the heart. That is so cool. Any of these shapes can be used the same way. I want to add a drop shadow. So I select my folder, go to the HUD, F7. Every object can have a drop shadow. So I click the drop shadow setting to turn it on. I'm going to set the opacity to 90%. I'll just drag this up to 90 to make it nice and dark, but it is darn near impossible to see. There's a tool in motion that makes this really easy to fix. Go down to the tool, hold it down, and select the drop shadow tool. With the drop shadow tool selected, click hold and drag and set that shadow the way you want. Press the F7 key and we can add blur. Or you grab this handle up here, and you can drag it between blur and not blur. So using the drop shadow tool, the top right tool, the top right corner controls the blur of the shadow. Grabbing and dragging the enclosing box controls the position of the shadow, and the HUD controls the opacity of the shadow. Let's publish this file, Save As. We're going to save it in webinars. We're going to call it Heart. Um, picks in picks and click publish. Go back to Final Cut and let's go find webinars. There's our heart picture in picture. Let's just delete this. Let's go find our our field shot here. Set an in the letter I, the letter O, the letter E to edit down to the timeline. Shift Z to get it to fit. Drop the effect on. Select the clip. Go to the inspector and there's our heart picture in picture. Is that cool? Then it says, what do you want to put in it? Just click inside the drop zone. Let me find something that's worth looking at. Let's find something really, really dramatic. This, I click the shot. I say, I apply it to the clip. And now I've created a picture in picture, video in the background moving, video in the foreground moving with a drop shadow. 
And if I ever need to change it, say change the position or change the shape, just control click on the object here and say open in motion. It then allows you to open it in motion, make additional changes to it. This is very, very cool. This is an excerpt of a recent webinar covering Motion 5. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store.